Buckle up, excellence junkies, because this podcast is definitely for you. Welcome to Rocket Fuel. Do you wish that you could surround yourself with people that love to kick ass just like you? Well, come to my party, baby, and meet some of the brightest stars in the entrepreneurial galaxy because it is my mission to give these entrepreneurs a platform to declare what they are on this planet to accomplish and to show you why they are rocket fuel. Woo! All right, I am really excited about this episode because we're going to talk about dreaming. Yeah, right? So dreaming, um, dreaming of what you would like your ideal life to look like, which seems, it sounds like, I hate to say, bullshit, right? I mean, when, when, when we think about the idea of like dreaming what our awesome, perfect, ideal life would, would look like, it's kind of like, stop wasting your time, like get to work and live real life. And that was left for kids. Well, today we're going to say eh, 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 eh. no, because our expert is an expert in helping his clients actually achieve their true awesome life. We have JP. Actually, do we go by JP or Jeff or Jeffrey? What do you Just desire? That. Just, Just Jeff. Jeff. We got Jeff Adkins, right? <laughs> he is the productivity Jedi at True Awesome Life Freedom Systems. And what I love is that you're all about living your true awesome life, but through systems? I know. I know. It, it seems like it's such, it, it seems like <laughs> such a dichotomy, right? Oh, uh, but it's essential. essential. It's essential. Oh my goodness. So, so tell me a little bit, um, Oh gosh, there's so many things I want to ask you. So, all right. Tell us a little bit about like your background. First of all, like, like before you were an entrepreneur, what, what did you do? What did Jeff do? So I actually worked in a couple different ways, right? So I worked for Pizza Hut for 20 years off and on. Uh I I have to, and in between that I did, I ran two nightclubs um, that was amazing and crazy and wild and who a lot of work um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now with, with, with pizza hut were you were you in in market like were, was there a connection to like running these clubs and running in pizza hut or is it like well the problem was is that they wouldn't give me the job i wanted so mm-hmm. <laughs> so i worked in i worked in a restaurant um i worked I eventually worked through a restaurant and got the, my dream job, right? So I had uh-huh. turned in a job description. And at the time, um, so I, let me stop. So I went back. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working at Pizza Hut. I um, had brain surgery. Um, mm, just a little thing. Just a little side. thing. Right. A little, a little something, something. A little something, something. Oh and, my goodness. And started learning web design and graphic design. Okay. Okay. So I went and ran a web development company in West Palm Beach, Florida, which was freaking amazing in 1998. Wow. Okay. So I've been working online since 1998, 99. Sheesh. There was a Newsweek article that said, okay, the internet bubble busted. And we're dealing with that now. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later, but mm. we're really dealing with that. And I had 12 clients cancel at the same time. <gasps> Literally. Same Ouch. Day. I was working at Disney at the time. So I had a client. I was, I was on the Toon Disney uh, product, uh, production team. Uh-huh. And we did the Toon Disney website. It was amazing. I had a great time. It was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. In the middle of 12 of my clients deciding that they're not going to have a website anymore. Wait a second. So, oh my goodness. Jobs, jobs. So many jobs. Wait, yeah. So you're working at, at Disney as an employee, but also running this web design? I was one of the design team for Toon design Disney. Team. I won I won the contract for Toon Disney. Ah, okay. So they were your, your client. My client. I actually was a client. Toon Disney was yes. my client. I yeah. got to- yeah 
Oh my God. Talk about working with talent. It was amazing. Yeah. I can imagine. So the original tune Disney website was all my creation. Yay. Nice. Um, but then I can, I came back because everything kind of fell apart and I came back and I started working at pizza Hut again because that's just comfortable. And one thing great was great. And, and what were you doing at pizza? Hut? So I was a manager. So I managed the restaurant and everything. And then I worked for a while and it wasn't working and I got my degree in marketing um, and decided that I wanted to work in that. So I ended up working in nightclubs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I went back to, no, I went, worked at nightclubs. Then I started running a tax office. Okay. That was, <laughs> and it, while I was working at the tax office. So I hadn't been at Pizza Hut at that point for like three years. Uh-huh. And I had put a, I had put a job description in at Pizza Hut for a local marketing person that they needed in the stores and pizza corporate sends this job back down through as a whole program. And my boss calls me, who's also a really good friend of mine. Uh-huh. She goes, Hey, remember that job that you wanted that you sent up? Well, guess what? It's a whole program. Do you want it? So oh. I, I got to come back to the pizza hut. I was the sales coach. I worked in the whole Detroit market. I raised sales twenty uh, percent at each of my stores um, year over year. It was I won every freaking award known to man. Yeah. Okay. So this is a big. Th- I, I'm I'm trying to comprehend yeah. all the things. So basically, back then, Pizza Hut didn't have local marketers. They were only doing like national work. So you mm-hmm. suggested that there should be a local, and then they're like, "Oh, this is a good idea. Actually, let's do like locals all over the nation." Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And nation. then you were, and then you were like, yeah, okay, I'm going to take this local job. And then you kicked ass at it. I, I kicked ass because obviously I knew what I was doing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, we needed this job. I, I knew what we needed. Yeah, you, well, you, you were the visionary of the job right. to begin with. So you were, you were doing it as you envisioned mm-hmm. it should have been done. And that, that was the difference between everybody else trying to follow a job description, but you actually right. had the vision of, of, of what? Oh, okay. Of what I, they I, needed. I like this. I like it. I gave two point five million dollars to the Detroit Zoo when they were getting ready to close. Mm. I got to like I got to be at the Super Bowl. I got to be at the um, because that year the Super Bowl and the um, All Star Game was in Detroit, so they gave me tickets. Oh because my I, goodness! Like, like basically, they're like here. <laughs> uh-huh. that's awesome all right wait so we could we could go on and on about this yeah. but so now i'm getting your background and then when did you actually start true awesome life so what ended up happening is that they sold the market in the franchise because we went P- from, at pizza hut at so pizza you hut. kicked ass i kicked and ass then they sold it they sold it because there's huge growth look oh, at this this course. market is is growing it's amazing Mm-hmm. the franchisees said that they didn't need me <laughs> silly them really silly them they went from 48 stores in the market to 14 when they sold it uh wow earlier last year wow wow now 20 of those stores need to be closed i'll, I'll mm-hmm. give them 20 of them mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. 14 of them didn't 14 right. of them was just mismanagement and not doing all the stuff that we were doing Right, right, right. Wow. So right when um, when they said that they didn't need you anymore, that's when you decided to go off on your own? I went back into a store for a little bit first. So, mm. okay, I love it. Okay, great. They put me in an underperforming store. I doubled sales. I mean, like, again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if like, you're not watching the video, he just rolls his eyes like, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I yeah. that thing again. I, I did that thing again, <laughs> and they weren't to put me in this other store, and this other store is a beast. Like it's now closed. It's uh, probably one of the stores that needed to close, but it it was a beast. You you were fighting. It's in it's in East Dearborn. It was in De- East Dearborn, and uh-huh. it's in the smack dab in the middle of of, of a huge Arabic population. Uh huh. Okay, about six blocks from Detroit, with uh-huh. and and not a nice part of Detroit. Like this is Crackville, uh-huh. uh, and really it's where people go to get crack um the hookers were on the street um this whole area was such a dichotomy of everything right yeah just tough on all levels right all levels and if you weren't fully supported 
you were falling apart. Gotcha. And, yeah. And I wasn't supported anywhere. Yeah. In that store. Yeah. Wow. So, so then you went off and said, all right. I'm going to what, start now what so what inspired you to to start your own business versus just going to somebody else and helping them grow their own? I was actually working with authors. So mm. at the time I had friends that were authors and I was doing some stuff because I've always done a little bit of stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. It was never I worked at Pizza Hut, right? It was always I worked it's at like, Pizza Hut and I and did, and I, I did some I, I did some things, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I, I would be doing graphic design for somebody or I'd be doing this or I did, you know, web I did a website or um and I was I started doing PR for authors. Hmm. And that was so much fun. Like I loved it. It was I'm like loving it all. And I was actually making more money the first year I did I left Pizza Hut, I made more money in, in my company. Wow. So wow. That's um, awesome. That's and I was awesome. doing book covers and because I'm a graphic mm. designer and I learned how to actually format manuscripts and I can do all that. And I, so that's kind of what I did. And what I realized is that they need a system, mm. right? So I, I then started uh, true awesome, which was a website that what it was a community website. It was a social media site and the money equated, Anytime you interacted with your group, you got points that equate the money so that it can buy things from our store. Oh, I like that. So, um, like if you're in an author group, you know, the author releases it and they put it up there and the author still get paid. And then this whole thing. And in a week after I started it, Facebook changed their whole algorithm oh. on groups. And kind of crashed one of the major features for authors. Mm -hmm. um, and so I had to go back and rebuild and figure out what was going to happen. And I kind of rebuilt it like four times and it just never really did it. Mm -hmm. Like I was still doing okay. I was still doing, eh, but that never really took off. And so I had to figure out what it was I going to do with my yeah. life. And so I went back to work. I went back to a job and I went to, um, uh, I was working in dry cleaning for a little bit. And then I, and I went back to pizza hut, believe it or not part time uh -huh. um, in the store that they kept dangling over my head because it was amazing. Uh, <laughs> it was literally, and they really wanted me to go in and just take over and fire the RGM. And I'm right. like, no. You're like, no, 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 <laughs> I'm not getting, I'm not getting stuck back into this. I'll go back in a couple days. Oh, a week my. And so, I mean, if that's very difficult to, um, to say no to, uh, you know, a, a salary and some level of perceived, you know, uh, stability and, and all of that stuff. So then, so then finally you went all in and I know that, so it's interesting that you had kind mm -hmm. of helped authors before, because uh, I mean, you have a, a creative background to mm -hmm. begin with, but so it's just fascinating, um, that you love to help these authors and, and you had mentioned like creative specifically the, mm -hmm artists and um and, and and such because in that sense like it's very common for a creative person to like break out in hives when you talk about systems <laughs> take a breath so if you are a creative coach a creative personality right but mm -hmm. you're a, you're an artist and an author and all that jazz and you're listening to this it's like we, we got you we feel you I, I, I just acknowledged the yes. elephant in the room yeah you know yeah. and um yeah so so tell me about your kind of your unique understanding of that pain yeah I mean I'm an artist, yeah. <laughs> artist I'm an author I'm I'm a coach Okay. Yeah. Let me tell you, it's a pain in the, in the ball. <laughs> I am, I'm just going to lay it all out there. It's a pain in the ass. And if you don't, and what you realize and people tell you, I am so, I'm, I, I got to call them out. I got to call them out. I'm so sick of hearing one funnel away. <laughs> if I that hear is, that. It, if so I what hear, don't you like about it? What, what is frustrating? Well, number one, they charge you an arm and a freaking leg to do it uh -huh. okay and number two you're never one funnel away like really mm -hmm. that one funnel might be a hundred funnels in so right. and they don't give you the full system they do 
it, it, it's 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 a pretty decent site for what it is, uh-huh. right? But but it's not a funnel. It's a funnel and an email system and a purchasing thing and it's a, like there are a yeah. lot of systems that that are there that are in it and it's not a bad it's easy to use i'll give them that it's really Mm -hmm. easy to use um it's very intuitive and things like that well the problem is that it really doesn't give you any way to follow up on people it doesn't have a it doesn't have any way to do your accounting Mm -hmm. like you can't track sales very well off of it Mm -hmm. um like all these things that you don't think about as a business and right. that's very scary, like, especially if you're not a systems oriented or process oriented person, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, whether it's, you know, using a, a funnel system or anything that basically is like, you just need to do this and that's right. it. Um, it's not, it's not fair. It's not fair. And, and um, if you're not process oriented, then you're, you're not thinking of those missing pieces in advance, right? In mm-hmm. general, if you're heart centered, you're a creative person, you're like, yes, this is going to be my way of like impacting the world. And what happens is you get crushed on the back end because for any system, guys, my dear rocketeers that are, <laughs> that, are that are listening, and for any business, you have to create systems for your like sanity. Mm -hmm. And for scalability, if you have any desire to scale and scale doesn't mean like to five bazillion dollars, scaling means you want it to be more than just you. If you want anybody to help you, for example, um, it's important to to have things in order. I I call them kind of Lego pieces. Mm -hmm. And um, and that is very, very difficult. And I know I mean, I come from a a, a, well, (laughs) I I have. I come from theater, but I, I'm also, I have a doctorate in pharmacy, so I'm, I'm a, a you know, wacko, wackadoo, and that's why we get along uh, so well, you and I. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, you know, from my nerd side, I appreciate systems, but if I go into my creative side, I totally get how, like, 80% of my friends in that world would be like, bah! This is no why we set, up, we set up once, we learn how to do it, mm-hmm. set up right from the beginning, mm-hmm. and we don't have to deal with this ever again. I just know how to do this, right? Right, you right. Don't, you don't walk into Pizza Hut as mm-hmm. an employee and they change the system on you every week. You walk in, you do the same thing over and over because it works. Okay? Right. And, and they might change how they put on the cheese. They might change where the pepper, like once, like every blue moon, every five years, they like change all their specs. And yeah. so you might you might get a new cup. Right. Yeah. So you get a new cup and it's so it's a little different. Okay, cool. All right. How do they do that? All right. All right. Cool. And within a day or day and a half, you're yeah. back into the swing. Well, what's interesting is there's there's actually peace in systems, right? So in the beginning, when you're creating them, if and also if it's difficult for you to visualize systems, it's it feels very painful. But once you have the systems in place, it could really give you a lot of freedom and peace associated with that. But, but, but before we get into it, and I want to, you know, dig, dig deeper into that, um, you know, for you, the, the link to true awesome is that you help people start with just really understanding what their ideal life would, would look like. Yeah. What is your true awesome life? And, And, and I know that, you know, people must be listening, like, wait a second, she started, she started the episode like this. Now we're talking about systems. <laughs> hey, you know, can we add some like nails on the chalkboard? Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, like, it's important to do that because otherwise you might be creating a system that's a freaking prison because now you lock yourself into something that you hate. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I did it. <laughs> mm, tell oh, me. Tell oh, my me God. When I started doing systems, I freaking hate doing systems. Mm. So, <laughs> I'm a creative. Uh huh. I'm a creative. Okay. I had to, but I had to go in and I, and and build the system out so that I know how to build that system. Right. And I truly believe that you have to be able to understand your systems. Right. Mm -hmm. I have someone now that does this for my clients. I don't build them anymore. Right. Now. Well, you could be the visionary now. Now I'm the visionary. Now I go through and I walk out. I can, I can build out the system on on paper. Like architect it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and hand it over and I can work with the client to make sure that it fits in their life. So for me, I travel. Okay. I'm, I'm on the road. I'm a full-time RVer. Um, right now my 
motorhome is in the shop getting its motor fixed. <sighs> we are going to go into that story. Yes, yes, we will. We 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 will. Um, but but what I want to do is I just want to give the audience an opportunity to understand what you mean by by you know just opening up those parts of your brain that ena enable you to to dream and really envision what it is that that you desire because before the systems and and I loved this like when when we talked about it and I got the first opportunity to meet you I was like yes that's how these things connect because I have been in that process where um you know I had a business or had a, a a process and it's like okay we nailed it down and then I'm like well great we nailed it down but I don't like it right uh -huh. I don't like my role in it I don't like all these things and then now you just wasted a lot of time and then you may wind up not liking systems luckily I realized okay I locked myself into a system that that like put me in a role I didn't I didn't want to do mm -hmm. but you have to start with that so for my Rocketeers that know know the process, you know that I always ask our experts to provide a value bomb so that you know you can be inspired and say, okay, I, we want you to realize if you are a coach, if you are an artist, an author, right? Especially you have that creative mindset to realize that systems can be peaceful. They can set you free. Yeah. But before that, it's you can actually work with somebody that acknowledges that you want to live that creative and true awesome life and so mm -hmm. you put together uh jeff put together this really really cool guide that is called your true awesome week and uh, jeff i'm going to ask you a little bit more to to describe it but it, it's it's kind of that first exercise of like opening up your creativity and really thinking about what what do you want your true awesome week to, to look like? So this is how you're going to receive it. Please, I want you to pull out your phone right now, okay, and um, access this resource. You're going to text RF-AwesomeLife, okay? So RF for Rocket Fuel-AwesomeLife, and it's all one word together to 411321 if you are in the U.S., all right? You're going to receive True Awesome Week and other resources that will help you kind of ignite that, that dreaming again, right? And to really create the life and business together that you're going to love by using creative systems, which is really um, interesting. And then if you're outside of the U.S., my dear Rocketeers, I do not forget you. You can text RF-AwesomeLife to 1909-741-1321. That's 1909-741-1321. And all of that is in the show notes. Remember to provide your email address. It's going to ask you because that is how you're going to receive this PDF, this great resource that you can use like immediately so uh jeff tell me a little bit more about like your thought process on why you created this true awesome week resource. yeah yeah definitely because you know the first step in anything the only reason why you have a system is to support your life it's not the not to become your life mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. that's the only reason you work is to support your life it, it should be exactly yes. So, and it's, and it's a shift. So when you start from there, when you start from this place of what do I want my life to look like? What does it look like? And how do I have, what do I need to do to get there? Yeah. Right. It's a different process than, okay, I need to make, I need to make a million dollars because I want this and this and this. Mm -hmm. No, I want my life to look like this. Okay. What supports me is, you know, I'm looking at property that's $1.5 million right now. I'm yeah. freaking out a little bit. I'm like, I don't know how to do that yet. Right. <laughs> Not yet, but it's in there, but it's in there. And it's in the, it's in what my awesome week looks like is running this really cool resort kind of thing. Um, this uh, retreat resort space for our viewers. Ah, so it. I'm really like, and as I go through it, I'm like, wow, I, I get tingles. Like I am like lit yeah. up. Okay. <laughs> the one I found that I really love is the 1.5 million. Uh huh. No, it's done for me. I don't have to do anything to it. I can walk in and like change the signing and like be oh done. Oh my gosh. Right. But so now you're like, okay, I got to get it, get it, get it. Right. But the thing is, you wouldn't have even seen that property if you didn't have the clarity of what that true awesome week looked like. What that looked like. And so I wouldn't even be thinking about going there. I'd be thinking about my coaching business and I love my coaching business. I love the people I work with. I love being able to see them step into their life, mm -hmm. you know, because that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. really we're not 
we're creating the system to go along with it. Okay, great yeah. and wonderful. And it's it's great. But it's stepping into the light that you want to live and watching them actually live and going from clicking from that work obsessed mindset. Yeah. To the life focus. Okay, so this week I'm going to right now I should be in Palm Springs, right? I'm on my way to Palm Springs. I will be I will be I will be in Palm Springs. November 1st. You I, will be. I, I will be. I don't know. But, how it, but there was a little hiccup because what happened one month ago today? So one month ago today, I went into some water. Um, I had to drive through some water in the fifth wheel, right? Because uh. I was in the fifth wheel. And, um, but before that, I was saying, I don't want, I don't want to tow anymore. So through this process, I realized I don't want to do this. And it's not because I, I hated my home because I loved my fifth wheel. I really did. I loved being in it. It was well decorated. It was a perfect amount of space. It was great. But every time I had to move it, I like broke on hives. It was, yeah. it was crazy. So again, it's the systems, right? It's the moving from where I wanted to be to where I want to be. Uh -huh. And I kept saying, I want to be in a motor home. 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 Well, the universe listened <laughs> and I went into some water and <laughs> Totally just, flooded. Just a little bit. That totally flooded your home. <laughs> flooded my home. Uh, ruined my engine in the um, in the truck. Uh, had yeah. some had some fun with that. Um, and it's literally a month ago, right? Wow. A month ago today. And yeah, the universe the universe definitely gave you a dramatic slap. It, it must have been giving you hints like beforehand, and you just weren't picking it up. And they're like, "Okay, really? Do no. I need to flood your fifth wheel in order?" No, to no, no. This is not. This is not the little pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> but but you're getting. But you got your motorhome. But I, but I got the motorhome. So I did get in the motorhome, and I was driving because I had to go back to Michigan to register my motorhome. Uh -huh. It was un unexpected trip to Michigan. I wasn't very happy about it. Uh, the only thing that made me, because I said I wasn't going back to Michigan until May. It just wasn't. Yeah. Uh, and the only thing that made it worth my while was that I got the, I was going to surprise my mom. Right. Yeah. So imagine not telling her where I'm going, not telling her anything, you know, and showing up at her doorstep and saying, do you have coffee ready? <laughs> With your motorhome. With my motorhome. And so I kept, that was my big dream, right? And I was driving to Michigan. I was about six hours in and my motor overheated and I cracked the head. Oh. So um, it, it took about two weeks to find someone to fix the motor. It took another week to get someone to tow it over there. Oh um, my goodness. It is now in the shop with a really great person. I'm so excited that he's going to be doing it. But what that did is that maybe I luckily broke down somewhere around. I, I don't know how I got here actually. Um, <laughs> my niece's house. We, um, and I get to actually get the, I've been able to like kind of center and get mm -hmm. back on, on track because, you know, I was off my systems. I'll be yeah. the first to you. But my business still ran. Because of because of my systems of your systems. So yes, I was on yeah. Because when I mean that's not that's not only chaos. It's not vehicle chaos. This is like your home. This I is had, your home. Like all the things. Think about if your home flooded tomorrow. Yeah, that that's what I, I I like realizing it wasn't like oh yeah, and then my vehicle flooded. It was like those are, were your possessions. Mm -hmm. I lost and, half my clothes in an already limited. Right. Yeah. Amount of clothes. Well, luckily you had your laptop or did you lose your laptop too? Um, I have my laptop. I still have to go to those. I have to go get it fixed. There's a couple light spots mm. where it got wet. And then, so it's pixelated. It's, it's usable, but I'm oh. a graphic designer. So I have, yeah. that they're missing. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's not good. Yeah. Oh my goodness. But, but systems kind of kept things together. Yeah. So through the, through it all, I still had three prospects. Um, I have one person that's on, you know, I brought in clients, I'm bringing mm -hmm. in clients. Mm -hmm. I have, a, I have a, my clients that I have originally, mm -hmm. right. And we've met every single call. I missed one call that was already announced because I was driving. Right. 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 Um, yeah. And 
what's great is that I've had time to actually sit down and actually work for a minute because I had taken some time off right before that mm -hmm. for my birthday. Mm -hmm. So it was my birthday weekend. I took like six days off, like kind of completely off, like being offline. That's the awesome life. Right. That's the <laughs> awesome life. And I got, I took some pictures and from like, I was getting ready to do this whole campaign, like that had star Wars pictures in it. And like, yes, productivity this, Jedi. Right. <laughs> I was so excited. I got to go to star Wars, but, <gasps> awesome. but then it became the conversation became, you know, what to do when it all falls apart. Yeah. And how to keep up with life and, all of it and still keep your clients. Yeah. And it starts yeah. by knowing where I wanted my life to be, you know? Right. And, and so I wanted to see more places. I wanted to be amusement parks. I wanted to, um, I want to actually live. Mm -hmm. And part of my week, part of my awesome week is, you know, actually seeing new things and not being stuck inside. Mm -hmm. So because yeah. I, I work online, you, you and I both know. Yeah, you don't want to be attached to, to yeah. the computer, to the laptop all the so, time. Right. That's so great. I, so I had to, uh, how do I do that? What do I, okay. So for me, I literally had to go to an amusement park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I, I mean, we're actually, we're already past, past time. Obviously, yeah. this is like really fun conversation. But my, you know, my main mission of why I wanted to, introduce the rocketeers you know to you is um is because there are a lot of creative entrepreneurs out there and um and it's i understand that it it's painful it may not be your expertise thinking about it you know gives you hives all of this stuff but um it was awesome to be able to meet somebody like you jeff that acknowledges that perspective but also just put such a brilliant light on it and to start people off with really dreaming again and, and envisioning that, that true awesome life and the true awesome week. So mm -hmm. I want to thank you so much for saying yes to being invited um, mm -hmm. to the podcast. And, and for, for those of you rocketeers that are coaches, creatives, artists, all that stuff, and, and you're resonating with this message, you're like, <gasps> Okay, we have somebody that you could safely <laughs> work with that's going to not use systems to to break you down, but to actually lift up your true awesome life. And so I want to remind you that if this is intriguing, honestly, this this exercise itself is just an awesome exercise. But specifically, if you are a coach, an artist, an author, please text RF dash awesome life. It's all one word. RF for Rocket Fuel dash awesome life to 411321. If you're in the US, you're going to immediately, as soon as you provide your email address, immediately receive the true awesome week. And I encourage you to do the exercise. Jeff also was wonderful and he provided his, his calendar link there. So if you have questions about it, or if you're just like, ah, I just need to talk to somebody about this. I just know I, I've been I've been putting this off. Um, then please do so and, and connect with him. But Jeff, thank you for for adding that because a lot of people kind of put you through a lot of hoops to ultimately connect. And like, if, if we're inspired to do so, and I hope that you are inspired to do so as as a rocketeer, then um, please connect. And then outside of the U.S., please text RF dash awesome life to plus one nine zero nine seven four one one three two one that's plus one nine zero nine seven four one one three two one and in both cases please provide your email address by the way if we don't ask you for your email address that means you've probably texted another catchword before and we know who you are so it's in your inbox check it out all right jeff so any final message um to our rocketeers as we wrap up yeah really just I want you to know that systems can actually benefit your life. And, you know, what is it? I'm here to help you figure out what that is, what mm -hmm. it looks like for you to actually live that life and how to actually get there. I love it. I love it. And I'm a big fan of experts because leveraging experts is rocket fuel. So especially when it's something that feels uncomfortable for you, that's when it truly is rocket fuel because you have been keeping yourself from that true awesome life by avoiding 
creating the systems that will empower and enable you to get there. So thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate it yeah. so much. And to you Rocketeers, I truly ha hope that you have a rocking day. Bye now. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Look, every one of our episodes is boosted by a value-packed keyword called a catchword. Yeah. This allows our audiences to text to receive even more value from our guests. So take advantage of that great value. And if you share your expertise by guesting on podcasts or TV or speaking in front of live or digital audiences, then you're leaving anonymous fans behind. So go get a catchword at catchwords.com, K-E-T-C-H words.com and use podcast 20 as a promo code for 20% off your setup fee. Look, make sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the Rocket Fuel podcast so you never miss your jolt of Rocket Fuel. Until next time, adios.